Over at Golden Gate Middle, Ashley Crosby is making beautiful music possible for her students with her best practice of building a resilient mindset. With her goal of giving them tools to learn the music, she's teaching them that challenges are not failures, but instead are stepping stones towards their success. Good afternoon, we're ready to start. Um, we are going to start rehearsal today with Blue Bossa and we are going to address some things that we've been so far struggling with. We have gotten past the stage of notes and rhythms. You guys know the notes and rhythms. You're playing them really well. So now we have to focus on that detail work, that making sure the articulations are matching each other, making sure that we are listening to the other parts of the ensemble when we don't have the melody, make sure we're playing in tune and in tone with our neighbors. So, so far, that's the piece of the puzzle that we're still working towards. One, two, oh, one, two, ready. <laughs> Remember to articulate. All right, so that introduction, did the tempo I counted off, is that the tempo we took? What was different about it, darling? It was a little on the slow side, wasn't it? So I want you to just Speed it up just a hair. Can we do that rhythm section? My best practice was titled Building a Resilient Mindset. And the thing that I was trying to address with my students uh, with this best practice was teaching them their value as people and teaching them to build confidence and to be able to work through things that are hard. When they come into a band classroom, oftentimes they're very excited to learn an instrument. And they come in, they choose their instrument, and they get it in their hands and they realize this is not as easy as I thought it would be. Yes, it is difficult at first, but the things that are hard are, are worth doing. The things that are worth doing are sometimes hard at first, but it's also a lot of fun and you are able to do it. Maybe not today, but in next week, the week after you keep trying, you're going to get there and it's gonna sound amazing. I enjoy this class because I like music, right? I love coming into this class and practicing and listening to how all of the different instruments come together and form a, you know, a beautiful melody. I've been volunteering with Ashley since she's been band director at Golden Gate Middle, and I've had the distinct pleasure of watching her work with her students. Her students don't just learn how to play an instrument or read and perform music. They learn valuable life skills in this class. They learn persistence, teamwork, and most importantly, confidence. When embracing the challenge of new music, students can practice at their own pace until they master it, receiving feedback from the teacher and other students. When my daughter told me that she wanted to join band, I, I never thought it would last. And here we are almost two years later, and she is in regular band, she's in jazz band, and she's excelling at it. When family comes over, she's excited to play them the new song that she learned, or she's looking up new sheet music that's not even a part of her curriculum and trying to play that. She's helped me learn that like when things are hard, you don't just give up. You have to keep trying and working hard at that thing to get better at it, and that things don't just come easy. You have to work hard at it. I have seen my students embrace challenges, not only in my classroom, but in other areas as well. I try to attend things that they do. Some of my students are on sports teams with our, with our school, so I try to go see them perform and play their, their sport in addition to the music that they play for me. Um, I see them take that confidence onto sports fields. I see them take it into their academic classrooms and just start to believe that they can do things. The positive effects of Ms. Crosby's best practice are evident, not only in the competitions and rankings of her students' performances, but also in the way they approach challenges outside of the band room. It's reassuring to me that there's a community beyond Golden Gate Middle School, like in our, in our city of Naples, businesses, community leaders, partners, parents, that see the value of music education and see what it can do for kids and what it can build in those young people. 